Hello and welcome! Ketoing up with the Joneses. I'm Tyler. I'm Melissa. Got my handy dandy bacon, 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 bacon shirt on. Today we are going to be doing some awesome bratwurst pigs in a blanket. We're going to go ahead and toss these on the grill. We'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright, on this beautiful day we are going to be at using our handy dandy grill. Um, like we did the other day, obviously in our last video it was raining like crazy. I wish this would have been 4th of July weather. Um, I've already preheated this. Um, I usually like to cook on the grill about 400 degrees. This is a little bit over that right now, but it's going to lose some temperature when I open the lid. Just go ahead and throw these on. Rot worse, I like to stick actually close together and let each one of them cook each other. all those bad boys on there. Got some sizzle going. Close the lid and let these cook. We'll go inside and uh, show you what we're going to do with the dough. All right, I believe our brats are ready. Man, do they look good. As you can see, I obviously already flipped them and they've been cooking on the other side for a little bit. We like them a little, uh, a little crunchy almost good texture going on with our food. Let's go ahead and pull these off. And we're going to let them cool a little bit. Just cool to the touch so that my wife can wrap these bad boys. Okay, so now it's time for our fat head dough bagel wrapped whatever. So, first you take your mozzarella cheese and your cream cheese. So we have three cups of mozzarella cheese and four tablespoons of cream cheese in a microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna pop that in the microwave for 45 seconds. When that is done, you're gonna take that out. You're gonna give it a good mix. You're gonna put back in for another 45 seconds. And then you are going to add four eggs and two thirds cup coconut flour. We did make a pizza dough, a fathead pizza dough with almond flour. Almond flour and coconut flour measure out differently with eggs and each other. So if you would rather almond flour, make sure you watch the fathead pizza dough recipe to get that recipe with almond flour versus coconut. This one we're doing coconut, so it's two thirds cup, cup coconut flour and four eggs. So as soon as this is done, we're going to take it out, give it a good stir, which we've got five seconds left. And it is ready. So it starts to melt. You can see the cream cheese is going to get soft. You just want to give that a good stir. Kind of get that cream cheese softened up a little bit more mixed into the mozzarella. Okay. Fathead dough is one of the easiest doughs ever to make. So good and so easy. Another 45 seconds and then when that's done we'll show you how to do the rest. Okay so the another 45 seconds done. As you can see that mozzarella cheese is very very melted. Make sure that you get that cream cheese and that mozzarella cheese mixed in really well. You don't want chunks of cream cheese and chunks of mozzarella without each other. So get that mixed up. Add your flour and of course your eggs. We prefer large eggs. Okay. Mush those yolks into that flour and that cheese. Get that well incorporated. You can use your hands if you prefer or even like a KitchenAid mixer. Once this is all good, of course, we're not going to forget to add Redmond's. This stuff is amazing. 
good serving of salt. Mix that in some more. If you feel like the dough is getting too hard, you can always pop it back in the microwave to warm up that cheese a little bit more. Okay. If you do use your hands, be careful because that cheese is hot. Okay. Once this is done, we are going to wrap our delicious brats that my husband made on the grill. Okay, so once I got that all mixed up, I just made six balls. We have six brats, so six balls was perfect. Just kind of flatten it out. It is sticky, it is cheese, cream cheese, egg. Just kind of get it as flat as you can. Take your bra and wrap it. Get those all wrapped and sealed. Pinch that. Making bagel dogs. And then when these are all wrapped, we're going to top it with some of our favorite select savory seasoning, bagel seasoning. So we're going to get these wrapped and then we'll be back. Select savory seasoning, savory bagel seasoning. This is by far the best seasoning out there. Sugar free, additive free. Sprinkle it on and push it in. You could mix it in with the dough, but we like it on top. Okay, give it a flip. Because you definitely want it on the top and the bottom. Sprinkle some more. And with all that extra, you could even just, you don't want none of that delicious seasoning going to waste. Guys, look how good those look. And remember, these brats are already fully cooked. We cooked them all the way on the grill, so we don't have to worry about any any raw meat on the inside as these are cooking we're just basically worrying about the dough and the egg that's in the dough so we're gonna go throw those on the grill and cook them until they're delicious all right back on the grill so a lot of people don't know this but using a grill with the lid closed is literally just like an oven so in the summertime when it's hot, for those of us that don't have central air, it comes in really handy actually to just cook most everything outside on the grill or use it as an oven so that you're not having to heat up your house. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to leave these on the cookie sheet. We've already preheated our grill about 400 degrees. It should be between 425 and 450, but the heat's still going to come up just a little bit. Now I've only lit these three burners here for the temperature to come up. I'm going to crank these two up. I'm going to stick these over here on the other side so it's not direct. So you can use it as an oven. I'm going to turn this one down. Now the temperature should sustain itself. And then here it needs to cook for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes or till golden brown, basically the texture that you prefer. You want to make sure the egg is cooked all the way. And yeah. They should be ready. All right, I think these are ready. Yes, they are. Cooked on the bottom. Nice and golden brown on the top. Everything's cooked thoroughly. We did have to move it over a little bit to a little bit hotter side, um, just so they would cook a little bit faster. It seems like the, the cooking temp on the other side was just a little bit low, so and we wanted to eat now. Hence the uh, little bit of brownness on the bottom. But these should be delicious. We'll plate up. We'll see you in a minute. They're ready! Yay! You guys have no idea how delicious these are. Completely plated, plated look, up. Look. Ah, uh, and this ketchup. 
You totally need it. Mm-hmm. So, let me tell you what it is real fast. Alterna Sweet Spicy Ketchup. No sugar added. They also have regular ketchup, which is what we give the children, and barbecue sauce. But we absolutely love the That's by far my favorite. Spicy ketchup. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And Alterna Sweets did so good on this, guys. It's a must try. I'll post the link in the comments so you guys can try it. For the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. That dough cooked perfectly. Yeah, like, and the bottom doesn't even bother me. Like, it doesn't taste burnt. It's it's legit. The dough is so flaky and chewy and gooey and. This is one of the closest things you're going to get to bread if you're craving bread when you're on keto or any type of low carb diet. Go away. I'm just going to keep eating while he talks. Well, you're going to have to quit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Time to feed our family once again. Please hit like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you need to do. Um, help us, help you, and you know, fill us in with a little bit of information. We really want to know if there's certain things that you want to try, um, certain things that you would like, a, like to see us make. Um, let us know. Ideas would be awesome so that we know our followers are happy. So definitely let us know what you guys want to look at us make and if you do try something we make let us know what you guys thought absolutely and if you have any ideas um on things that say or recipes that you have we would love to try your recipes also and if we really enjoy it we might even make a video on it yes definitely that would be a really good yeah. thing especially if you guys have things that we haven't done we'll try it and Why we'll not? definitely give you the credit if, 100%. You, if, if, if you have a recipe of your own and you want to send us a recipe um, write in the comments or email us, whatever you got to do. Hit us up on Facebook. And, yeah, we would love to try your recipes. And, yeah, we'll try them out. Show them off. We'll share your Instagram page or whatever Facebook you got. Anything. Would be awesome. Have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye. Day, whatever you're watching. Yeah.